Descript allows you to create multi-camera workflows, multi-camera videos from multiple files, but also from a single file. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can take a Zoom recording that has both speakers recorded side by side, you know, like in a classic Zoom recording. But I will show you how you can take this one recording on one video and divide the speakers and you can then manipulate them individually and you can place them in different places and switch cameras just like in a normal multicam workflow just using that one video. So let's have a look how to achieve this. I have a blank project here with two speakers, one video. That's the name I gave it. So in the media bin at the top, I already imported my Zoom recording. If you click on this and you will uh, scroll through it, you see that I, it's just me and Chris, my friend, side by side on a single video MP4 file. This also has audio, so I have already transcribed it. It's in English and you can also identify the speakers, which I have done. But that's beside the point of this lesson. So how can we take this one video and allow me to separate it and have sometimes video with just me, sometimes just with Chris, sometimes both of us, or even change this meeting into a vertical video if you want for social media, Instagram, all those things. So let's have a look. From this video, this is very important, you need to create a sequence first. Sequences in Descript, you know, are a way for you to create multi-track content and synchronize videos. Although we just have one video here, there's nothing really to synchronize, but you will see what I mean. So in order to add this to a sequence, we need to create a blank sequence first. It used to be possible to just click on a file and create a sequence from it. This option seems to have been removed, but not a problem. In the media bin right here, we can go to add files and let's call it a sequence. I'm going to create a sequence. This is not really a file. It's a sequence. It's in that menu, I guess. I don't know. Click sequence. And here we have a multi-track sequence that is at the moment blank. So what I want to do is bring that video in here. So let's go to the add media at the top. And there's my video. Click on it and click add as new track. This is going to insert that video into my sequence. So that operation added that file on, a, on its own track. What I need to do, and this is what makes the effect work, I need to add this video again to the same sequence. So to do that, we just go back to add media again and click the same video file and click add as a new track. There we go. And if we scroll down, we can see it now that it's occupying two tracks, the same video file. I'm going to be a little bit, you know, just let's be tidy and let's delete this track that I have here that is empty. So click on the track itself down here and just click delete track. So now I just have these two tracks with the same video file on it. Now let's give them proper names because I need to know I'm reserving one video for one speaker and the other video for the other speaker. So I'm going to give this track number one. I'm going to call it Christy and the other track, click on the name there and type Chris. So now we've got two tracks, two videos, two names. What do we want to do is basically just silence one of them because we're going to hear the audio twice, you know, duplicated. So I'm going to click on one of them. Doesn't matter which one. Click on one of them and on the top right here on the sidebar, we can click mute like this. Click the icon which silenced or at the top here where I silenced the whole track It's muted. There you go. So I, my work is done here. I don't need to do anything. I don't have to resize or crop or anything. Let's click done. And now I have this blank composition. If you don't have one, you can go to the top here and create one from the compositions drawer. And I need to bring that sequence in here. So go back to the media bin right there. I'm not adding the video, by the way. This is important. We open the sequences folder and bring that sequence in here. Before I bring it in, let me just rename this just to stay organized. Both speakers like this. So now I have them. I can either drag them. Look, I can drag it to the script right there. Boom. So because I had already transcribed this, I have the uh, transcription in there and it's all looking good. Now, one note, though, you may have if you've duplicated the track and it's all transcribed, you may have the issue that the transcription will show you twice some words because Descript thinks, OK, you know, I have two tracks in that sequence and both of them have transcripts on them. It doesn't care that it's the same exact 
audio basically transcribed twice. So I know that I muted one track, but what I really want to do is go back to that sequence. So click on both speakers right there in the media bin, go back to the sequence, click edit sequence. And what I want to do is I want to remove one of the audios altogether, not the video, just the audio. So because look, if you look on the tracks here, it shows you the words that are on the audio and you can see that the transcript is duplicated because I basically added the same video twice with the audio as well. So I'm going to just take the one that I silenced, you know, look, it's muted and I'm going to right click on it here and say detach audio. That will take that audio and move it to its own track. And it's actually moved it to the track below mine. So this was my audio technically. So I'm going to just click on this, click on the track maybe, and just delete this track here. Or you can click to delete the audio clip, but I'm going to delete the whole track. There you go. So now I still have the two tracks, Christy and Chris, but one of them doesn't have audio. So now I only have one transcript and any, you know, that transcript is already on the single track for both of us. We recorded our audio together on a single file, just like you do by default on Zoom. And then I don't really care. It's just one of them. So click done here. We're done. So now look, the transcript is there and I've got both videos showing because the reason is this happens is Descript detects that that sequence, the underlying sequence that I created my composition from has two tracks and it just places by default both videos side by side. Now it happens that both videos already contain both of us. <laughs> so it's showing each of us twice, not a problem. When you click on them, you see they are individual objects. And if you click on the blank area to deselect everything, it will show you that the, this composition has two layers, right? So you've got Christy and Chris, both of these layers are actually the sequence with the two tracks the two tracks on that sequence. So because I gave them nice names, I know which layer is which and which one I want to work with. And when you see them like this, they're both the same video. Technically, if you click on one of them and you look on the right side, it shows you in the multicam section, which layer that video is. In this case, uh, the one on the right, it says it's Chris. So what I want to do is I want to lose from each one of them. I want to lose the non relevant speaker, right? So what I do is double click on it to turn on crop mode and I will just pull the side right there and I'm going to crop to Chris like this. There you go. Double click to exit. And now I have the video stream for Chris on its own. You see it right there. Click on the other one. This one is called Christy. You see on the drop down layer there, and I'm going to go and double click again. And this time crop to me like that and like that. Double click to exit. Boom. Two videos, two speakers, all from one single video. And these should play just fine right now. Christian probably gets this more. And I have now the freedom to manipulate these individually, put them side by side, just like in the original uh, meeting, if I want to. There you go. And you know, if they're too, if they're not large enough, you can resize them still a bit more. You can notice those little red dotted lines that allow you to do the snapping. And anyway, let's call it because I did the cropping when they were very small. I may not have done the cropping very accurately. You can always double click on a video and just keep cropping it until you're happy. And by the way, this is a new feature now in Descript that allows you to move things on the canvas with the arrow keys. So if you click on one of them and you need to nudge it left, right, up and down with the arrow keys, that is now possible. So this is how you do it. And by the way, if you have the audio like this, both speakers on the same track, it is not possible to have Descript switch cameras automatically. If that's what you are looking for, despite the fact that both speakers now show up differently on, on their own uh, kind of track or layer, if you want. And now let's show. Uh, how can we make these uh, speakers switch? So that's by the use of scenes. So if I go in my text right here and I say, oh, okay, you know, for the first part of this paragraph, we want to show both of us side by side. But at some point, 
I would like to show just Chris, for example, when he gets uh, going. So I'm going to go and create a scene somewhere in the middle here. Press slash to create a scene. And there you go. It's created a scene. You see the thumbnail. And now in this particular scene, I want to show just Chris. So I'm going to grab Chris's video and just resize it full screen like this. Maybe I need to, uh, you know, resize it a little bit more just to fill the screen. And I, I don't want to have black margins. And my video actually doesn't have to be on. So I can just delete it or I can move it to the back. Whatever you choose, move backward, right click on it, move backward like that. I can't see it now. So watch this. Before that scene, look, I click inside of the first scene here where both, both of us side by side. In this scene, it's just Chris. So if I go somewhere and I create a new scene, press slash again further down. So with this new scene, now I want to show myself full screen, not Chris. I can just grab Chris and resize him and then find my own stream, make it that one full screen like that. And then I may actually click on Chris and send him to the back, whatever. So now this is me. So look, watch this. If I play this whole thing from where both of us are on the screen, at the top, there'll also be a link down below. So one of the you notice the camera changed when I entered this new scene and then another one here is can I record audio when I'm in a Zoom meeting? On so you get it. The nice way is that once you create these layouts with you full screen, your guest full screen, both of you side by side, it's very easy now to go to another scene and replicate that by just copying that layout. So if I want to go down here, and when I start talking, maybe I want to show us both again for some reason. You can always create scenes also by clicking this little slash sign next to the paragraph you're on. But, you know, I like to just press slash inside of the text somewhere. And there you go. I've got the scene right there, but I want to make this one be side by side. Well, I go just to the first scene where both of us are side by side. Click on the first thumbnail for that first scene. So right click and copy. And I click on this scene here, the one that I just created, right click and paste. So you see the layout just gets replicated according to that first scene that I copied. So this is a very quick way to just switch between them. When you have a longer interview and you want to switch cameras very often, you can do this if you don't have multiple video streams to, for example, have the active speaker automatically switch and show up on the screen, which we will have in a different session, how to achieve that. So there you have it. This is a, a one workflow that you can get one single video recording of a Zoom and split that into two tracks, two layers, and have those available for you in your composition to swap them out, resize them, put them on top. You know, just to show you, if you want to turn this one into a vertical video, that is very easy. You just go to the top and you say, portrait right there, video settings, portrait. And now the video is a portrait. And all I have to do is just grab every video and possibly scale it up half the screen, scale the other one like this, you know, do whatever you need. Maybe you want to put some subtitles or captions in the middle there. If not, you just pull the bottom and just resize both of them to uh, whatever. And if you don't have it framed correctly, you just double click inside and just uh, position the videos inside of that window. So that's it. There you go. Vertical video from a horizontal video side by side. This is one workflow that you I'm sure you will need uh, at some point.